Sorry, we have to meet like this again. I need to get fucking pumped! Ooh. I wanted to sit down and talk about why I don't up... <laughs> it feels like it's been four years since I've actually sat down and made a vlog. Because, you know, I do fall off the face of the internet sometimes, and I just get caught up in everything that I'm doing, which involves laying on that bed a lot, and I hate it, I need to fucking stop it, but it got warmer out, which it's like 50 degrees, which is crazy for New England right now. I wouldn't be surprised if we got a blizzard tomorrow, though. I, not at all. I'd be like, oh, yeah. But I wanted to sit down and talk because I watched um, That's So Jack's video, and um, he made like a five minute video on Valentine's Day of just him talking. And I needed that because I had literally no one to talk to on Valentine's Day. No one was texting me back and I was going to scream. I went to Applebee's. I went dive bar hopping. Picture me dive bar hopping like and getting appetizers everywhere I went for like three hours. I filled my gas tank to the brim. And that was just about the only action that I got on Valentine's Day this year. But that's why I'm making this video because I like YouTubers that just make videos of them talking about things that happen to them in their lives. It makes me feel like I'm talking back to them, but I'm not. And it's just like a one-sided conversation. But sometimes I need this. It's like a mukbang minus the food because I'm not going to eat on YouTube. <laughs> not a fucking chance. I look like a cow. Um, well, I look like a cow with or without eating food. But yesterday I got home from the theater that I work at. I do, I'm a stagehand, by the way. I do theater work. I put things together and take them apart and make things look pretty. I did lighting yesterday. The lighting looked so cool. I was so proud of it. It was like a 1975 purple pinkish lighting scheme and I loved it. I was like, boom, light board. And I loved it, it looked dope. But as soon as I got home, my mom and I started wrestling because that's just what we fucking do. We started wrestling and um, it ended up on the floor very violent. I was, we were full on WWE John Cena. We were fighting. It was about a Snapchat that I took and I was about to post it and she's like, no, don't post it. And I was like, we were like grabbing at each other, like grabbing the phone, trying to grab it back. And she kept pulling me back. And until she, her fucking claw, I say claw because it had to have been a fucking claw of what I felt, go down my face and scratch right here. I was, I was like, <gasps> do you see that? That's from my Ravenclaw mother. I was bleeding into my mouth. I can't make this shit up. And that was all over Snapchat that me and my mom were fighting over. These are my old disgusting vans that I've had since the summer. And they have like bullet holes in them from like skating when you pop a sick fucking ollie, dude. I got, I have those. I still wear them. But like, you know, I'm like, I need a, I need a new pair of shoes. I don't really want shoes with bullet holes in them anymore. So I go to Zoomies and then the van store, like two of the same things to get vans. I have. These shoes that I got on February 1st that I have yet to return. I went to go return them, but I didn't have a receipt. I thought I had the receipt. I had it in the shoe. So I got to the van store. I take out the receipt. It's from Dunkin' Donuts. Imagine me handing the cashier my Dunkin' Donuts receipt trying to return these. Figure that one out. But they don't fit. That's why I was returning them, but I'm stuck with them because I can't return them anymore. If anyone wants a size 11 checkerboard vans, Hit me up on Depop. But I went to Zoomies, cause like, you know, I was greeted by the most gorgeous cashier I've ever seen. She came up to me. She had a nose ring, so I was automatically hooked. She came up to me and she's like, yo, can I help you with anything? I'm like, you have no fucking idea. I was like, yeah, just shoes for now. And she's like, oh, what you, what you looking at? I'm like, you know, you know, these, they're kind of, they're like the classic look. She's like, those are dope. I'm like, Thank you. She's like, yeah, man, those are dope. Let me go get you. What size are you? I'm like 11 and a half because I'm a fucking big foot. She's like, okay, okay, okay. She had to go to the top of the store. She got a ladder out to go to the top of the store to get these shoes. I can't make this up. But she got them. I tried them on. And as soon as I finished lacing them up, she's like, yo, those look so good on you. I'm like, oh my God. And then she's like, do you want a mirror? I'm like, Ugh, not really, but sure. And I tried them on. They look, they look awesome. Classic skater shoe. You can't go wrong. He was a skater boy, and she said, see you later, boy. I was like, in my head, I'm like, well, she said I looked good in them, and like, I put her through all this trouble. I'm like, I have to buy them now. Like, I didn't, I, didn't, I couldn't not buy them at that moment. So I walk up to the cashier. It's another lady. She's like, you want to sign up for our rewards program? I'm like, no. Then I see her come back around the corner. I see her come back around the corner to talk to me. I'm like, okay, okay. Piercy, play cool. Piercy. She comes up to me. She's like, yeah, I was wearing an Obey hoodie, the one that I've had for like three years. She comes up to me, she's like, that's like an OG Obey hoodie. I'm like, yeah, it's so old, right? She's like, it looks so cool. I'm like, you can wear it if you want, but you know what? You'll probably never wear it because I'll probably never see you again. 
<laughs> and then she walked away. <laughs> and I'll probably never see her again. Oh my god, but I'm stuck with these vans now. Because of her. She's probably saying the same shit to some other kid right now. <laughs> We're past that now, and I'm stuck with two pairs of vans that I don't even know if I want. About a month ago, I filmed an interview with 21 Pilots, which still like shakes, which still like shooks. What's the like present term of shook? Like shake, it still shakes me to this day. You can like see, and <laughs> I didn't have a tripod with me because when you film those interviews, you have 10 minutes with them. 10 minutes, it's like on the clock, go. I don't have time to set everything up. I can't bring my tripod in there. I can't like, it, it doesn't look as stable as this, but like I'm holding the camera when I'm filming that. You can see me like shake. I was like watching it back. I'm like, oh my God, Pierce. Cause I was nervous. Like I love those guys, but that's besides the point. The interview almost has 70,000 views, <laughs> which is the most popular video I've ever uploaded in my nine years of YouTube. It took one month to get my most popular video. No, it took two weeks, because in like two weeks I had like 30,000 views. I don't know why I'm talking to you guys like you're my manager, but I feel like, I don't know. I skipped, I skipped my exams for that. I skipped my exams to go film and meet 21 Pilots. I, I skipped my exam. Originally, I was supposed to stay for the exam, but then the snow came falling down and we had a delay and we had to stay longer in school to, to get the exam in. I'm like, fuck no. So I took one exam, it was math. I ran down the stairs, because we have like 30 minutes in between classes, I ran down the stairs, I ran out the door, and I ran so fast to my car, put the car in, and I Tokyo drifted the fuck out of school. And next thing you know, I was on my way to Bridgeport to go film for 21 Pilots, and it was freezing. We had to wait outside, they made us wait outside. But then, all right, let me tell you, this is like, this is kind of a cool story. All right, so, <clears throat> when we were waiting inside, I heard John Bellion do sound check, and I was like, what? Because I love John Bellion, and when I heard that, I'm like, oh, fuck, this is about to happen. Because I didn't even know he was on the tour until 15 minutes before I got there. First, I meet, I meet them first. So I shake their hands. Hi, nice to meet you. Cool, cool, cool. Take a picture. Awesome. Rad. We wait, and they take us backstage into their dressing rooms. And, like, it's John Bellion, Drew Down the Lion, Josh, Tyler's room. So, <laughs> we're backstage, and first, we see Jude on the line, but we, we know Jude on the line. Jude, we're, we're cool with Jude on the line. He asked us to hang out after the show. We're all cool. And then, um, <clears throat> I walk, we walk in to the, um, we walk into the dressing room. Josh and Tyler are sitting on a couch, and there's room in the middle. Walk in, shake their hand again. They're like, who are you? We don't care. <laughs> no, they were nice. They were, they were cool. Shoot the interview. Everything's going great. Okay, interview's done. It's on my SD card. Dope. And when I'm walking outside, when I'm walking out of their dressing room into like the hallway backstage, John Bellion is like right there. I like bump into John Bellion. I'm like, whoa! <sighs> Keep it cool. There's a really, really embarrassing clip of me um, seeing John for the first time, and I'll put that in right now. Yeah, but I just, I just need that. Tiffany. Yeah. Just hi. Uh, yeah. I go to say hi to John, and before you know it, this other group that was going to interview John, took them away. Took him away. And I didn't have a chance to take a picture. And, and when I got home, I was like, oh my God, I missed a chance to get a picture of John. But you know, it's all cool. Maybe I didn't want to come off as like a freak. Just, hi. You know, sometimes you just, oh, oh, oh man. Sometimes it's like better to just like not ask for a picture and just like be cool. Just, hi. Like, be the friend, be an acquaintance. Hi. Um, nothing much has happened. I'm actually going, I was supposed to go to Mexico, like, I should be there right now. I should be in Mexico right now, but I'm not, because the trip got postponed. But I'm going in March now, which isn't too far away, so, yeah. Oh, oh! Nah, I can't talk about that. <laughs> I gotcha. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. I should make more of these videos, like, just sitting down and talking, because these are my favorite videos to make and my favorite videos to watch, so... Uh, sorry, I didn't upload for a month. I just didn't want to post it. I just really didn't want to make something that I wasn't proud of, but I've been posting a lot on my second channel, which will be in the description below, and you should go check it out, because the interview with 21 Pilots is up there. And help me pay for my plane ticket to Los Angeles! Uh, no, I kid, but not really. Go watch it. It's cool. It's funny. As well as giving this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more of these sit-down talk story videos, because I really like making them, and I'll probably make one either way if you get a thumbs up or not, so. That's about it. Zoomies girl, if you're out there, 
hit me up. 21 Pilots was cool. Miss you guys. Hope to see you soon. But I hope to see you guys soon with a brand new video. Possibly next week, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Check me out on all my other social medias, which are also in the description below. But also make sure to subscribe because I'm really close to 12,000 subscribers, which is dope. And yeah, I'll see you guys later with a brand new video. Goodbye.